Stephanie Pearson and I'm the module convener for the Accounting for Organisations module and I'm going to make a series of short videos on key accounting concepts which I'm going to put up for you on YouTube and you're probably thinking why would I want to watch some boring old lecturer do a talk about key accounting concepts on YouTube well, the answer to that question, in terms of what's in it for you, is that in the exam there's going to be 20 multiple choice questions, and the multiple choice questions in the exam will be based on the key concepts that I'm going to discuss in my series of YouTube videos. So, the first concept I want to talk about is the accounting equation. Now, this is such a fundamental idea in accounting. It underpins everything we do in financial accounting. So, week one, we're going to look at the accounting equation. Now, the accounting equation is normally written like this. Assets equals equity, also known as capital, plus liability. And equity and liabilities are claims on the business. Equity or capital is claims on the business by the business owners. And that could be shareholders, if it's a company, or it could be the owner of a small sole trader business, and we call that owner's capital. Now, liabilities are money we owe to people outside the business, such as banks. And the accounting equation, I like this way of writing the accounting equation, assets equals liability and equity, because if we have assets, we have accounting assets, we must have paid for them somehow. And we've paid for them either because the owners have put capital into the business or because the business owes money, for example, to a bank. Now, the accounting equation is fundamental. It must always hold good when we do our accounting. And by that I mean, if we're recording a transaction, we have to make sure when we're doing our bookkeeping, when we're recording our transactions, that the assets remain equal to the equity or capital plus the liabilities. So if we buy an asset, for example a building, our assets go up and let's say we finance the purchase of that building with a bank loan, then also our liabilities have gone up by an equal amount. And this accounting equation underpins the production of financial statements and the double entry bookkeeping that we're going to do later on in the module. Now, we can look at that accounting equation and you might think, hold on, there's something missing here. Where's the profit? Because I know that accountants are very concerned with profit. And you're right, there is something missing here. We can, in fact, expand our accounting equation so that we take profit into account. Now, if a business makes profits, or if it makes losses, those profits or losses become part of the equity or owner's capital in the business. Because if a business makes profits, those profits belong rightfully to the owners of the business. So in fact, we can expand our accounting equation because we can say that within the equity, we capture the profits or the losses. So our expanded accounting equation becomes assets equals equity plus profits or minus losses plus liabilities. But actually, 
We know a bit about profit, and we know that for accountants, profit is equal to the excess of revenue over costs and expenses. So we can expand our accounting equation even further. And we can expand it fully and write assets are equal to equity plus sales revenue minus expenses plus liabilities. So there we have our expanded accounting equation, assets is equal to equity plus sales revenue minus expenses plus liabilities. And when we do our accounting, when we do our bookkeeping, our recording of transactions, everything that we have to record is either an asset or it's equity or owner's capital or it's a revenue, costs and expenses or a liability. There's nothing else that captures all the accounting sort of classifications or headings, if you like. So we have to remember the accounting equation. Whenever we're doing recording, when we're looking at financial statements and balance sheets or statements of financial position and income statements and statements of profit and loss, because this underpins all that. So thank you very much for watching and thank you to my daughter Faye for holding the iPad and making the video.